Hey there, Riddle third graders. Welcome to another video art lesson. Today we are going to draw a fish, and the fish is going to be a bluegill, which is going to kind of look like a crappie too. But I'm going to start here with a shape like this, kind of the body shape of a fish. All right, from that body shape, I'm going to make his lips, mouth. To do that, I'm going to make a small oval here and a small oval beside it. I'm going to make a circle and an eyeball. A little U shape like this. Next, I'm going to make the jaw is like the part of his head there is kind of like a, a separate piece or so. So I'm going to make a shape here that jaw and the face like that yeah next I'm gonna make his he's got a fin it's like his on mine would be like his arm his left arm everything's flipped backwards on the screen next I'm gonna make he's got some fins on his top here Put them in the right place. It's going to be spiky at first. And then it's going to be smooth and curve. Alright. Now I want to make tail. Tail feathers. Or tail feathers. Tail fin. has um, a little fin underneath here, a smaller one, and he's got another small spiky like fin that helps him steer like under his belly. Now on the fish it's a little bit different color here throughout his bottom, his belly. So I made a line around his belly, more of a yellowish, yellow belly. I'm gonna try to do some color. Now there's there's different kinds. There's hybrids. There's different kinds and colors. It's a green. It's a yellow. It's a lime green. It's a black. Let's give this a shot. So I'm gonna use my another sharp one. color his face in with his green. His lips are green. I should press hard in places. And should say that you should not sharpen pencils the way that I do, a grown up does. You need to use a sharp pencil sharpener. Kids have tried to do that, and good chance that you're going to get cut and get hurt. You don't want to do that. I also did it when I was a kid and I cut myself. So be waiting until you're old enough. Next, oh, that looks pretty good, don't it? I'm going to use a. Uh, dark green. I'm going to make his, all of his fins. I'm going to outline them. I'm going to put lines on them because they're very, most people, if, if you've ever held a fish, you know that they're, these spikes are like something that will stab you. Really sharp, pointy. Not something to mess around with and play with at all. You got to be careful when you're trying to hold them and when they're all slimy or whatever. It's, Making that green. Put that in. Make his little arm here. Put that in. That one. Put that in. Yeah. Look at that. That looks pretty good. I like this. 
Next, his belly. Now, hybrids are more of a, even a touch of orange sort of, or, and they got red ears too, they have different looks, so it depends on what fish. So if you know a lot, a lot about fish, then you could make this a little bit different here, right? No. Sometimes they have a little bit of light color too. Make a little scaly, a little bit here. Some visual texture on him. Yeah, a little bit of black. Do the eyes black? Outline them. I'm gonna add a little orange. Not too bad. Not too bad. I like him. Not bad at all. Now I'm gonna use some. We'll make some bubbles and stuff. There's some water. Give me a really clean water here, huh? In the ponds usually the water's all dirty. Way too clean of water, isn't it? That's right. Just kind of in some shallow water, maybe. Yeah, well, bluegill's probably not going to be swimming on the bottom of a pond. Only if it's in the shallow water, kind of where they have their little bedding. Spawning, bedding. Put some dirt there. How's that look? How's that look? Hmm? Here. Look at that. I like it. My fish. I need some more green on his face. Yeah. I look forward to seeing yours. Pretty cool. Good luck.